This conference will now be recorded. Hello, good evening, friends. This is Sudendra here from Wealthy Wealthy Workshop, and uh, hope all of you are doing well and getting well. So today we are going to discuss about uh, like what is Elliott Wave all about. Today, Amaraj Dekhenge, what is Elliott Wave all about? What exactly is Elliott Wave? And what is the basics of Elliott Wave? Yeah, so if you see this chart, this is one of the charts, talk chart of Tata Alexi. You can see I've drawn certain waves. Wave one is there, wave two is there, and wave three. Okay, so in a online workshop or workshop, we teach how to draw elite waves, how to trade using elite wave. There are different strategies you can apply and trade elite wave very accurately. So I just want to share you simple rules of elite wave, which will definitely clear your basics of what is elite wave all about. So Elliott wave is basically trading in waves. Stock price never moves up or down or it's never bullish or bearish in a straight line. You won't see the stock going up, 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 up continuously. It doesn't move in a straight line. It always moves in certain patterns and certain waves. Stock is kabhi bhi see the synergy straight line mein nahi jate prices. It moves in certain patterns and certain waves. Okay, so and this is based upon human psychology. We are human psychology ke upar based hai, and it definitely works. And it works in every market, stock market or commodity market. It gives very good results. If you use it along with Ishimoku, it, it gives even better results. And as certain strategies also, if you apply them and up, learn and apply them in your trading, that will definitely benefit you. Okay. So if you see here, Prices are moving in certain pattern. This is the first wave that went up, and the second wave came down, and the third wave went up, and the fourth wave again down, and the fifth wave, the final rally. Okay. So you can see prices have moved in certain waves and patterns. Okay. So prices or waves, that wave node move in a straight line. Whichever stock you see you will identify these patterns and waves so these five waves which i'm showing you one two three four five this is in an uptrend so yes are uptrend ka movement hai. uptrend in an, in an alien wave is always made up of five waves e waves up and two waves down alien wave may move your bullish move is made up of five waves if you see here tata alexi has been bullish right since this level of 978 978 rupees say the stock has been bullish this is since since february 5th february this if count has started from 5th february and if you see the uptrend lasted this fifth wave end of fifth wave it was about 1470 from 978 to 1470 so you could have made this much money just by looking at the single stock i mean you can trade other stocks as well but this is one of the examples and there were so many opportunities in other stocks as well in an uptrend which started in february in this particular stock Baki stocks maybe uptrend shuru hua tha. Usme bhi humne wave count se you could have made money using the elite wave strategies also you could have made huge money if you followed this stock, you could have bought 978. And again, in an Elliott wave, third wave is the most impulsive or the most dynamic wave. Third wave jo hai, it is the most impulsive and the most dynamic wave in, in a bullish Elliott wave pattern. Third wave, if you see, why is this most the most dynamic wave? The prices have moved, have been most, is the most bullish. In the third wave, prices are the most bullish in the third wave. If you see the length of the third wave, the prices have gone up higher and higher. If you see the prices in the third wave have gone from a level of 966, end of third wave, to around 1454, almost 500 rupees. Up, or prices have gone up by 500 rupees in only the third wave. 
So you have made 500 rupees in a span of from starting from 23rd March to around uh, 23rd March. Let me see the date to around 2nd November. You have made money in the six seven months, 500 rupees plus by trading the third wave. You could have bought options, you could have bought in the futures, or you could have just made an investment. Whatever trade, short term, long term, Elliott wave is for everybody. Don't consider that Elliott wave is for long term. This can be applied for the short term trading, investments, long term trading, medium term, any term, any time frame. But you will get results in any time frame. So this is not just related to four hours or one day or one week or one month chart you can apply to one day also one hour also any time frame you'll find these waves and patterns remain the same in an up move so in an up move you will always find five waves five waves mein kya hai? the first third and the fifth wave will be moving in the direction of the major trend pe third wave mein, if you see if you see the trend it is clearly bullish and in the fifth wave also the trend is bullish prices have gone up from the end of fourth level to the fifth level the prices have gone up third wave also the third wave is of course the most dynamic wave the prices will be most bullish in the third wave volumes will also be high in the third wave the first wave hai which may be prices up jayenge so 1 p and 5 first third and fifth wave will always move in the direction of up move or move in the direction of the major trend which is bullish so this is what is the concept first third what is wave 2 and wave 4 wave 2 and wave 4 wo jo hai, it is basically correcting the move see first wave was a bullish wave and then the prices fell down so this wave 2 is basically correcting the wave 1 and after the third wave, fourth wave is basically correcting the third wave, which is the most dynamic wave. So wherever you see gap ups, you gap ups kahan par hote hai? where do gap, gap ups happen usually in an up move? Gap ups usually happen in an in the third wave, which is the most dynamic. If you see the examples and if you draw the Elliott waves, you will always see that most of the times gap ups hote hai, where the price moves up. From yesterday's close suddenly goes up and closes gaps up from the yesterday's close. Usually that happens in the third wave. So gap ups you will always find them in the third wave. Okay. If you see here, if you want to see the gap up example, if you see here. Here the prices were bullish. Then I'll show you one gap up example. You see here, prices gapped up here for four, three, four days continuously. So if you see the candles have opened higher than the previous day's close. Here also the candles have opened higher than the previous day's close. So be up gap up they can stock may commodities may you will always find them in the third wave. That is the most one of the most important points of the third wave. Most dynamic as well as gap up so prices may you'll see that in the third wave of an uh, up move. Okay. Second and the third, fourth wave are usually the are usually correcting the move. Wave two and wave four, jo hai, wo wave hai. So it is it is moving against the major trend. Major trend here pe bullish hai, but wave two and wave four are moving against the trend. That is quite normal. So even if you see in life, life also never moves in a straight line. You will always have ups and downs, ups and downs. That is part and parcel of everybody's life. Stock bhi yehi characteristic hai. Ups and downs and are part and parcel of any stock. Life doesn't go in a straight line. There are mountains and valleys, peaks and troughs. There also in a stock you will find peaks and troughs, mountains and valleys. That you have got to remember. You can't expect that. The whole six months or one year of investment every day the candle will be bullish and the prices will shoot up every day five percent or two percent every day it will not happen even though the stock is bullish 
it will move in some patterns and some waves as i said in life ups and downs are part of life everybody has an up ups and downs but the third wave hai yahan pe sabse zyada up move hai this third wave is the best part of your life which you are enjoying for a long period of time you can relate your life the third wave hai that is the best part of your life if you see your life third wave that is the best part of your life and that is the best part of the stock if you want to invest for a short term or a long term okay because third wave is the most dynamic wave which will prices will just shoot up with higher volumes volumes bhi check kar sakte hain third wave mein sabse zyada volumes honge compared to the first and the fifth wave in an up move you can see the volumes also below yahan pe dekh sakte hain volumes bahut zyada hai you see this volume yahan pe bahut zyada tha you see this in the first wave relatively volumes flat hai this is still a bullish in the first wave but if you see relatively the volumes are quite low but the third wave mein hai prices bhi bullish hai prices are moving up that is the best part of your life best part of the stock best entry, best entry point to enter in a stock is the third wave and in the volumes if you see compared to the first wave you can see levels of the volumes are quite higher pretty much higher than the first wave volumes also will rise along with the prices in the third wave ye ek important point aapko yaad rakhna hai volumes will also rise in the third wave theek hai so fifth wave also see the volumes quite low in fifth wave sabse zyada volume kahan par honge third wave mein sabse zyada price kahan par bullish honge third wave mein where you will find the gap ups in the stock in the third wave This is a bullish example. So, in a bullish example, you will find gap ups in the third wave. Okay. This is how stock prices move higher. Never in a straight line. Ups and downs are also part of a bullish stock. So bullish का मतलब ये नहीं है कि today you buy and every day it will go up for the next two years or the next six months. It definitely will move up, but it will have its ups. It will have its downs. It will go up. It will come down, and move in a certain pattern. हर एक wave में sub waves भी होते हैं. वो हम हम सिखाते भी हैं. How to identify these sub waves? First wave में भी there are sub waves. These are the major major waves. One, two, three, four, five. But within the third wave, within the first wave also, you will find major. Sorry, you will find minor waves or the sub waves. Sub waves भी उससे भी आपको मदद होगी ठीक एवरी वेव हैज अ सब वेव रिमेंबर थर्ड वेव के अंदर भी सब वेव्स है दैट ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन लर्न इन डिटेल दैट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक है लेट वेव एंड डेफिनेटली इट वर्क्स बिकॉज़ ह्यूमन साइकोलॉजी ही स्ट्रेट लाइन में नहीं चलती कभी ह्यूमन साइकोलॉजी डजंट वर्क इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन इवन दो यू मे बी हैविंग द बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ Wave is the best part of your life where you are enjoying your life, but us may be ups and downs honge through the sub waves. But overall trend hai, overall psychology hai, it will be bullish. So that's the best part of the third wave. So if you want to enter in a bullish trend, always enter in the third wave of an Elliott wave. That will give you the best results and the maximum benefit and the maximum profit. Okay. This was all about the. One, two, three, four, five, and remember, wave two and wave four are correct waves, which are moving against the trend, against the major direction or of the uh, major trend. So, what after wave five? The wave five khata mone ke baad, correct move will start. So, if you see here, let's say wave five end ho gaya. Once the five wave up move was completed, prices started falling down. If you see, the prices started falling down from. 1470 level and now the price current price if you see is 962 so you could have made money both ways in an up move you could have made 600 rupees in the down move you could have made 500 to 600 rupees both ways so elliot ye nahi ki only in an up move you can make a profit even in a down move or a crashing market or any market you can make money in the falling market also using the corrective phase of the elliot wave to so, jaise hi five wave up move khatam hota hai to kya shuru hota hai 
down move corrective phase this is the corrective phase which you can learn in detail that will i can i can explain everything in such a short span of time but definitely once you learn it and apply it you will just love trading using the elliot wave along with ishimoku ishimoku is also important but if you combine ishimoku with elliot wave which will give you fantastic results so yahan pe hum up move mein bhi profit kama sakte the which we did 600 rupees and down move also same way in a corrective phase also you can make money same 600 rupees you can trade in options short and you know you can trade in options short the futures so in a down move also you can make money by trading in futures and options also okay so whatever is the wave we just have to follow the wave chahe corrective phase ho up move ho if you, if you follow the rules of elliot waves you will make money along with ishimoku also that will give you an extra edge if you use this elliot wave along with ishimoku that will definitely give you an extra edge over others and definitely you can see the results then so it's been bearish since so many days the stock tata alexi since 3rd september the stock has gone into a corrective phase so corrective phase is made up of three waves a b c which of course you can learn later on okay so this was the just a gist of elliot wave and how you can apply it and make profit both ways in an up move in a down move in a sideways market also okay that you can definitely make money using elliot wave along with ishimoku and there's one more thing i want to show you you can see this this is the same stock but using this sudden you can see this red color short term moving averages long term moving averages using this we can identify marrying elliot wave with technical analysis we can identify which is the most dynamic wave which is the impulse wave if you don't know impulse wave we'll definitely teach you but you will identify where is the impulse wave kahan pe impulse wave hai aur kahan pe corrective wave hai we can definitely identify using this multi moving average which is the short term and the long term to kahan par jo turning points hai market mein where is the turning point reversals at what levels the prices are going to reverse reverse and change the direction of the market change the momentum of the market wo hame pata chalega using elliot wave and of course both up move and down move and plus the multi moving average also will definitely just just a guiding guiding light just that is just a confirmation ki kaun sa elliot wave up move hai ya impulse hai kaun sa corrective hai that also you can learn using this multi moving average theek hai so i hope you just got a gist ye to sirf gist hai detail mein aap padhenge elliot wave ya sikhenge you will obviously understand better and you can obviously learn the strategies better and time you know and you know and take profitable trades and make huge profits okay so this was all about elliot wave if you have any questions you can ask me about elliot wave or ishimoku i'll be definitely be helpful and i want to help you all to trade using ishimoku and elliot wave and of course uh, strategies of ishimoku and strategies of elliot wave also this is very helpful this has given fantastic results huge profits in both trends down move or an up move okay friends if you have any questions you can always ask me ping me Thank you so much and happy trading and see you in the next video thank you